We've probably all wondered if when putting vegetables in the microwave or putting them in the steamer, if we're losing a lot of the nutritional value, if we're losing the true benefit of eating those vegetables in the first place. Well, the purpose of this video is to clear that up, is to start making some sense of the best ways to cook your veggies to still get the nutritional components that you want. The vitamins, the polyphenols, the fiber, the antioxidants, you name it. Well, here's the thing. No matter which way you cook your veggies, you're still getting the fiber. Fiber is the non-digestible component that really doesn't break down regardless. So if you're just in it for the fiber, just don't even worry about it. But in this video, I'm going to explain in some detail the tips and tricks that you need to get the most out of specific veggies. Because this is what it comes down to. It truly depends on the type of vegetable. And in order to make sense of this entire video, I'm going to reference a couple of studies. This first study was in 2012, and it was published in the Preventative Food and Nutrition Journal. What it looked at was red pepper boiling, steaming, stir frying, and roasting. They wanted to measure how many of the phytochemicals and the antioxidants actually remained through various cooking processes. Well, believe it or not, what they actually found through this study, with red peppers in particular, was that stir frying, the highest heat cooking process, retained the most amount of minerals, vitamins, antioxidants, and phytonutrients, whereas boiling and steaming actually caused the red peppers to lose most of their value. Now, we can speculate that it may have to do with the high heat cooking, allowing the vegetable to be cooked faster, but there's a little bit more that we have to look at. So the next study that I wanna reference is gonna break some stuff down that's gonna sound contradictory to the first reference, but if you hear me out entirely, it's gonna make a lot of sense. So this next study was done in 2008, and it looked at carrots, broccoli, and courgettes. And what they were looking at was, again, how many of the minerals, how many of the phytonutrients and antioxidants were lost through boiling, steaming, roasting, and stir frying. Well, in this study, they found that boiling and steaming actually retained the most. How can that possibly be? Well, you see, it has to do with the overall types of veggies that you're cooking. So what we end up looking at is the cooking method in relation to the types of vitamins and minerals we're trying to get from a food group. For example, foods that have high amounts of water-soluble vitamins, okay, vitamin C, vitamin B, other phytonutrients and some of the antioxidants, generally end up washing out most of their nutrient profile through boiling and steaming. Yeah, that's totally true. So that means broccoli, that means some of these soft vegetables that don't have a heavy skin, if you steam them or boil them, you're getting rid of those water-soluble vitamins because they go right into the water and get washed away. Now that could be okay if you're making a soup because the vitamins and minerals are gonna be retained in the actual soup portion, in the broth. But when it comes time to actually cook them and steam them, you're really just getting a lot of cellulose and fiber, not a whole lot of benefit. Now, what about the high heat ones? Because we look at that first study that looked at red peppers. Well, the thing is, red peppers have a high amount of vitamin A, which is a fat-soluble vitamin. So what do we hypothesize here? We start hypothesizing that the fat-soluble vitamins and those vegetables do better with high heat cooking methods that are dry. So we're talking about vegetables that have high levels of vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin D, even some levels of vitamin K. Those are ones that you wanna stir fry. And those are the things like the carrots, those are the things like even the beets, those are the things that have the skins on them. Also things like spinach, sweet potatoes, and of course peppers. So those are the kinds of things you wanna make sure that you're aware of to stir fry, not necessarily boil. Even if you boil those, you're gonna retain some of the fat soluble nutrients, but these are typically veggies that taste better when they're stir fried anyway. Now this may not answer the question entirely because now you have to dive in a little bit deeper every time you eat a vegetable. Okay, what vitamins am I looking to get out of this? But a simple rule of thumb is to really just look at the skin. If it has a thicker layer of skin, like a carrot you would typically peel, or even a cucumber you would typically peel, it usually has a higher level of fat soluble vitamins. Not always the case, you can cross reference on the internet, but that's a general rule of thumb to follow. So now the question that comes to mind, this is one that gets asked almost daily on my channel. That is the world of microwaves. Is it okay to microwave your veggies? Do you get nutrients when you microwave? Well, it's time to reference another study. In a 2009 study published in the Journal of Food Science, get ready for this, it was found that microwaves actually increase the bioavailability of antioxidants and nutrients in vegetables. Yes, believe it or not, when compared to boiling, steaming, roasting, and stir frying, microwaving retained the most nutritional value 
from the veggies. And get this, it actually increased the availability of antioxidants in those veggies. Literally, by putting it in a microwave, it increased your bioavailability, your ability to absorb the antioxidant effect from these veggies. Now, you don't wanna just go and microwave everything, okay? You don't wanna just microwave all your veggies. Some things we do have to factor in is when something's been frozen and then reheated, it breaks down the cell walls so it does affect the absorption. The other things we have to factor in is how long it's been sitting in the fridge or how long it's been sitting in the freezer because those things affect too. And you also wanna make sure that if you're putting a veggie in the microwave that you're not putting it in water, then putting it in the microwave because then the same thing is gonna happen. You're gonna microwave it, the water's gonna boil, and you're having the same effect of boiling. Microwaving doesn't necessarily preserve or supersede the effects of boiling. Again, not saying go and microwave all of your food and definitely don't stand one foot away from the microwave while you're microwaving your veggies. But hopefully this video gives some clarification as to what you need to do to get the most out of your veggies so that you're not just sitting there wondering and microwaving the wrong ones, stir frying the wrong ones, and boiling the wrong ones. As always, make sure that you're letting me know what videos you wanna see and what comments you have for suggestions on other videos and this one in particular. If you have ideas that stem from this video, then that gives us great feedback for what we can produce next. Also, make sure you give this a share on over to Facebook, on over to your friends via email so that we can keep it locked in here, giving you good content. I will see you in the next video.